Hi everyone, so as you can see, today's video is an inspired, sexy, scary as hell vampire look. So for this look, I'm actually going to be doing my eyes first, and I'm going to be priming my lids with a concealer. And then to really define and carve out my crease, I'm going to be using this burnt orange, and this is going to be our diffusing colour. And just to let you guys know, I'm not going to be naming any of the products that I'm using, just look in the description box to find out what I used. Now to create a lot of intensity to my eye, I'm going to be taking this red eyeshadow and this is almost going to create this like real fiery villainous appearance about my eye and just carving out my crease a little bit more with that. Then take a big floppy brush and just start diffusing that red into the orange. Now using a black eyeshadow, I'm just going to fill in the rest of my eyelid and then I'm going to be blending that into the red. And then I'm going to be taking an intense eyeliner to darken it on top. This is going to create so much more of a heavy pigment effect to the eye as well. <laughs> I love the word villainous, but again, to make my eye look really villainous, <laughs> I'm going to be extending my wing liner and making it really sharp and defined. Just to give a little bit more extension to my eye as well, I've added the liquid liner into the tear duct of my eye. And I guess it wouldn't be a sexy vampire look without my mascara. <laughs> You guys can use any primer you like. I actually kind of regret using quite a high-end primer for this because it's not like I'm going to be wearing this look all day. <laughs> I'm not going to be going to the shops or anything, but I just primed my skin and then I actually found one of my lightest ever. So this is a great opportunity if you have any light foundations just lying around. And I used a light foundation to really give that really kind of creepy pale skin look. I am going to lay down some concealer under my eyes before I do some heavy contouring. This is going to add a lot of dimension to under my eye area. But I'm also going to be using it with a very fine uh, foundation brush to carve out the edges of my eyeshadow. Again, this gives a very sharp look about my eye. And then to set my concealer, I'm going to be using my fairest foundation powder that I've got. Again, I never use this because it's too light for me, but it gives a really nice porcelain look under my eyes. Now I think contouring is so essential for this look because it's going to create so much shape but it's also going to give that, you know, like that sunken in effect about the face. So I'm really going to carve out my cheekbones, almost taking it right into my uh, lips and it's just going to create a really heavy dimension that I'm almost like sick and over underweight and undernourished. <laughs> for my blush, I'm seriously just being really subtle with it and I'm just going to be placing it a little bit on the apples of my cheek and along where I place my contour. For my brows, I'm keeping them pretty stock standard like I would always do them, but I'm just keeping them a little bit more lengthy and taking them out wider, not necessarily giving them too much arch, and again, just adds to the whole villainous appeal. <laughs> Seriously, you can't be a sexy vampire without a sexy highlighter. <laughs> so I'm just going to be placing this along my cheekbones, nowhere else, because I want to keep the rest of my face matte. Okay, now for the good stuff. I'm really going to start looking sick now. So this purple eyeshadow is going to be going all underneath my eyes and just above my nostril. And I've only used one swatch of my shadow. You don't need a lot on your brush and just really blend it out. Okay, but now I've added another swatch to my eyeshadow brush. You don't want to skimp on it either though, guys. <laughs> Now just to make my eyes a little bit more creepier, I'm just going to throw a little bit more of that red eyeshadow along my waterline. And of course, to make it more sultry to be a sexy vampire, I'm going to make it more smoky with a cold black eyeliner. I'm going to place it into my waterline, underneath my waterline, and smudge it out with a fine detailed brush. Okay. 
Okay, so this is seriously my favorite part. I'm so stoked with how these veins came out. I'm gonna be using this purple eyeshadow and I haven't speared this up whatsoever for you guys because I think it's really important just to get the finer details perfected. So I'm just gonna be using a fine detailed brush and I'm just gonna be sl really slowly carving out artificial looking veins underneath my eyes. I found the best way of creating very real looking veins was making sure you go with your face shape so don't necessarily just go straight down because it looks like where veins would go kind of like where your cheekbone starts rising make sure you rise the vein with your cheekbone does that make sense i don't really know if that made sense but i hope it made sense <laughs> Because the veins are meant to look like they're coming from my eyes, I'm going to softly diffuse the ends of the veins just so they look like they're kind of seeping back into my face. I feel like, in my opinion, this look wouldn't be complete without black lips. And I was going to use my Jeffree Star's Weirdo, but I couldn't find it. So I had to use a eyeliner, but that's absolutely fine. Um, and just to add some extra effect, I used a red lipstick over top. And this kind of adds to the blood, that bloody look about my mouth <laughs> later down the track. So I'm going to be doing some home DIY today um, to create some fang marks into the side of my neck. I'm going to be taking a little bit of candle wax and just rolling that up and placing it onto the side of my neck. To make it look infected, I'm going to just be using a little bit of red eyeshadow over top of it. And then of course using some more purple eyeshadow with that fine detailed brush, I'm going to create veins coming from the bite mark. So you guys can see I've chucked in my red contacts and this has made a huge difference to the look. I'm going to be using some fake blood and that's going to start dripping from the side of my mouth and then I'm just going to create some blood coming from the side of my bite mark. This cracks me up, honestly. I feel really bad that I couldn't do this, but I tried to put my fangs in and they were so bad. They weren't fitting on my teeth. I was getting lipstick all over them. They were shit. Honestly, they were just cheap little fangs and they didn't look good. So sorry guys, but there will be no fangs today. Hope you guys enjoyed my sexy, scary vampire look. <laughs> if you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget all the details will be in the description box.